Welcome to the basics of hydroponics. The degree of difficulty with your hydroponics endeavor can be something very advanced, such as a warehouse full of hydroponically grown lettuce, or something very simple, for example, coloring of carnations. Let's start with what you basically need to start your hydroponic adventure. When starting your hydroponic endeavor, you must first decide if you're going to grow indoors or outdoors. For the purpose of this class, we're going to focus mainly on an indoor grow space. The first piece of advice is to get a plan together. The plan doesn't have to be perfect because you will learn as you go, but failing to plan is planning to fail. Do some preliminary research on what type of plant you want to grow. Different plants require different conditions. Also, you must decide how you're going to start your plants. Are you going to start with seedlings, clones, or start with seeds? Once you have your plan together, it's time to select the area in which you would like to grow. Some areas pose different challenges than others. You want to select an area in which you will have sufficient square footage and it will be the easiest for you to control temperature, humidity, and airflow. Once you have a grow room selected, it is vital you keep that room sterile and clean. The cleaner your grow area, the healthier your plants, and the less problems you will have to face in the long run. A hydroponic system can be broken down into five basic parts. The lighting, which system you're going to use, the medium you're going to use, airflow, and the nutrients. Let's start with lighting systems. There are many types and sizes of lights, but of course, nothing beats the sun. Not only is the type of light important, but also the color of the light and the timing of light also factor in. See our other video which specializes in light for a more in-depth analysis of lighting systems. The second piece of the hydroponic puzzle is to decide on which grow system you would like to use. There are many commercially available models of hydroponic systems, or you can purchase one made at Always Sunny Hydroponics or even create your own. That's one of the beautiful things of a grassroots movement. The sky is the limit as far as design and specs of a hydroponic system. The third piece of the puzzle is the type of medium that you use. Even though hydroponics is soilless, the plants still need something to anchor down to. There are various types of mediums which can be used, each having their pros and cons, which include hydrogen, perlite, rock wool, or cocoa cure to name a few. The fourth part of the puzzle is your air system. Airflow is crucial to both vegetative and root zones. In the vegetative parts of the plants, CO2 needs to be delivered via fan. Because plants cannot move, they very quickly exhaust the CO2 that is around the leaves, which is why it's important for a fan to move the air around the leaves, consistently de delivering new carbon dioxide. The root zone, however, requires oxygen. Respiration takes place in the root zone, so it's important that your roots be well aerated with plenty of oxygen. You can also choose to filter intake air to prevent microbes from entering your sterile grow room or filter air leaving your system in the case of foul smelling plants. The final piece of the basic hydroponic system is the nutrients. It would be amazing if a plant grew on pure H2O. They don't however because they need three major nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, along with three minor nutrients, calcium, magnesium, and sulfur, and up to 46 other micronutrients. It's important to choose your feed schedule based on the type of plant you're growing and the type of grow system you're using. The different plants are going to require different types of nutrients depending on what stage they're in. This is why it's important when you start your hydroponic adventure to do your research and know exactly what your plants want and when they want them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our website www.sunnyhydro.com and please like and favorite our videos. Feedback is always appreciated.